Hi everyone, I'm CJ aka Adventure Shark 24 and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX, the first video taking place after finishing the story of this game. I don't know what's gonna happen story-wise or cutscene-wise if we go back in for the post-game, so I wanted to start here on the title screen, just in case anything happened. Yep, I knew it! I knew there was gonna be some extra cutscene stuff going on if we loaded straight back in. Something I'm curious about, really curious about, because I know that there was one thing I really didn't like about the original Rescue Team titles compared to the other Mystery Dungeon games, and that was that the partner character does not really... they almost just sort of don't matter anymore after you beat the main story, like they didn't follow you around in the overworld anymore, and they were basically just... They basically mattered about as much as a, uh... They were involved in your moving around the world and the hub and talking to citizens and stuff. They mattered about as much as any random ally, which was super... It felt awkward to me, but let's see if they change that in this version. Due to CJ and Eve's heroic actions... The falling star was destroyed, and peace returned to the world of Pokémon. But that did not put an end to the natural calamities. Ooh, it didn't! So there are more disasters happening. That wasn't the end. Natural disasters still occurred, but much less often. Oh, well I mean, I guess it makes sense that they wouldn't just go away forever. I mean, natural disasters are natural for a reason, right? <laughs> Needless to say, Leaf Spark's rescue activities continued as if nothing had changed. Several mornings later... Alright, this is the test. Does Eve... Okay, you're here. Are you gonna follow me around in the town? L like, in the overworld, as if, it, as if nothing changed? I hope so. Good morning, did you just wake up? I went by the Pelipper Post Office earlier. The bulletin board was still covered with rescue jobs. Yep, we're gonna be doing a lot of grinding in this post game. Oh man, even though it's peaceful again, many Pokemon still need our help. Let's keep on doing our best as always. Signature line. Okay. So, okay, you're still there. Are you gonna follow me out of the house? You are! Okay. Let's see if it's just cutscenes though. Yay! Oh hey, Caterpie and Metapod. What's the matter? It's Snubble. Something weird going on. Snubble is weird? Weird how? I, I was I, I was gonna auto-fill that sentence to what else is new? <laughs> he looks completely different. Wait, did he evolve into Grand Bowl? Oh right, because evolution is a thing. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna do that, uh, I'm gonna try- I don't know if it'll be- I don't know how many of the post-game dungeons we'll be able to do as our main two protagonists here, but I want to try to do as much of this game's post-game as possible with our just- our two starters without evolving, because, I don't know, for me, like, evolving the, the player character in a mystery dungeon game just feels so weird, so... I'd, I'd rather just stick with the two as they are. Hi, Alakazam. Have you seen Snubble? I heard something strange happen to him. Uh, Eve. Methinks that's him right there. <laughs> I'm Snubble. What? You're Snubble? But you don't look anything like the way you did before. I don't really understand either. I went into the cave there, and all of a sudden... What cave? It appeared without me noticing. See? Right there. Yeah. So you went in there? Yup. And I came out looking like this. Snubble underwent evolution. <laughs> he evolved. Evolution? Evolved? I don't follow. How- you're a Pokémon, how do you not know what evolution is? Then again, I mean, I guess it makes sense that you wouldn't know. Man, the Mystery Dungeon wield- the Mystery Dungeon universe is kinda weird, isn't it? Pokémon, upon satisfying certain conditions, may evolve. 
When a Pokemon undergoes evolution, its appearance changes. Oh wow, your own appearance? That can change? <laughs> They're not used to this. I suspect that cave is where evolution can take place. This is merely a guess, though. Perhaps evolution could not take place before because the world's balance was askew. However, now that the star has been destroyed, the balance has been restored, and perhaps that cave became unsealed. So if I evolved, would I be would I would become like Metapod? Wait, I'm I'm so confused. If Pokemon couldn't evolve before, in the past, before while the world's balance was going wrong and stuff, then how how did how did Metapod even come to be? How are there even evolved Pokemon in this universe? <laughs> If they're all j if they couldn't evolve before we came along and saved the day, that makes no sense. I wish. I want to be Butterfree quickly. W wait a second. I don't know if I like this or not. My cute little face turned all craggy. Evolution is not a bad thing. Appearance isn't the only thing that changes. The types of moves one can learn may change, for example. Some of which may be strong moves. Oh, really? I- I might be able to learn strong moves? That makes me want to evolve even more. I wish I could be Butterfree soon. <laughs> Metapod, stick with your Harden, buddy. Harden is the best move in the game. Obviously. Can we go to evolve if that's the case? Yes, but it would depend on the conditions. CJ, let's go to the cave if we're ready to evolve. We can evolve if we wanted to. Both of us fully evolved, probably. I could be Raichu, and, uh, and Eve could be Meganium right now. But I, as I've said, as I just said before, I don't really know if I want to do that, so we're just gonna see how far in this post game we can go, hopefully all the way to the end, without, uh, without using any form of evolution. I suppose I wouldn't mind evolving Eve as much into Meganium, but I, I still would rather s stick with, you know, I still would rather stick with Chikorita here. It just feels right. Before we do anything as far as post-game dungeons go, because I know that the difficulty gets insane compared to the story in the post-game, I'm gonna use every single one of our tickets right here and now. Why not? A monster house in here? This is perfect. Please let me just defeat everyone. Please. No way, I almost defeated them all in one go. How much experience did I get for that? Oh, man. Also as well, ironically, I'm pretty sure that's the first time we've ever run into a monster house in this game. I don't think I've ever run into a monster house room in any of the main story dungeons. Which is pretty absurd now that I think about it, because, like, you're able to access them, you know, at some point in the storyline, but we just never found any, which is crazy. It's funny to find our first monster house here in the experience grinding rooms. Like, jeez. Like, that's really good. Because I just gained so much experience to that I leveled up again. In two bronze tickets. These are bronze tickets, keep in mind, that I'm using. I've only used two tickets and I've leveled up twice already. Because of that probably because of that insane luck. You know what? I'm just gonna leave I'm just gonna keep saving the tickets. Why not? I'm just gonna use I'm just gonna use those slowly over the course of this post-game. And yes, that is partly because I just wanna move on and do some stuff. From the looks of it, it seems like the partner character stays with you in the overworld in this version, which, if this is, if this stays out through the entirety of all the rest of the cutscenes that I know are probably gonna occur, then, oh man, then, like, oh man, top tier change. Best remake ever. Look at this thing! A mobile orb! Using it gives your team the mobile condition, making them be able to walk anywhere? Do you remember when I got the mobile scarf in Explorers of Sky? and could just walk through any wall I wanted? That's- this is just that item, but as an orb. So it's not as good as the mobile scarf? I don't know if the mobile scarf is, an, is a held item in this game. If it still is, that's cool, but it's probably really rare. 
Can Pikachu learn Volt Tackle in this game? Or is that like a level up move? Is there a way I can find a TM for Volt Tackle? You did it! Good for you! That is so cool! Okay. That's all you had to say about me saving the world? Okay. Okay, Kangaskhan. I guess they were, maybe they just weren't surprised really that much. Oh hey, Absol's here! I didn't even notice you here! My instincts at that time were correct. I'm glad I helped you out. Let me say thanks once more. Thank you for saving the world. You made a promise to Articudo during that time you were running away, right? That you would stop further natural disasters from spreading? Now that we've stopped the star from falling, star from falling, it, it might be good to meet up. Not only with Articuno, but also with Moltres and Zapdos, the three legendary birds. I'm super. I don't know why. It kind of comes as a surprise to me that they, that they actually referred to them in this game as the three legendary birds. Like I always thought that was just like a fan term that's used for those three Pokemon. I didn't realize that the games officially called them the bird, the legendary birds, even though they, I guess they, I mean, is it, is it sort of self-explanatory, they literally are just legendary birds, but still. Waterfall Pond is now open, Remains Island is now open, Desert Region, <laughs> okay, is now open, Southern Cavern, Dark Knight Relic, ooh, that sounds cool. Okay, all these are the open levels, oh man. They've, got, they've all got strong foes as well. Hey, that's nice! It tells you how many floors the dungeon has. That's pleasant. Thanks, game. I can I can plan ahead and actually choose a level that isn't going to take me like five hours to record a video for. Oh, hey, that's interesting. It also says in the little thing in the top right corner here, map can't check in all of these. So I'm assuming that means that for all of these dungeons in the post-game, you aren't allowed to look at the map that would normally appear on the screen? Okay, that makes things a bit harder, if that's the case. Ooh, look at these! And all of these old levels from places we've been to that have legendaries in them, like the legendary birds and stuff, they all have, uh, little versus star icons on them. Indicating that- oh, even Sky Tower does. We ain't doing that for a while, jeez. If we revisit the dungeons that have legendaries, for example, the birds, we can fight them again and have a chance to recruit them. I don't know if the legendaries re being recruited when you defeat them are guaranteed. I think you might just have that one chance to get them, or like you can fight them over and over again until you get them, or something like that. But yeah. Could we do a Legendary Bird rematch? I mean, we didn't have mm, too much trouble with them the first time we fought them, but... It's still kind of worrying, you know? I don't know how hard these are gonna be. And I also don't know if they're scaled to difficulty in any way at all. Like, I don't know if doing the one at Mount Thunder for Zapdos, I don't know if that's gonna be easier than, say, Articuno. Because just because we fought them later in the game the first time. Are they all, like, an even strength? But if we do, I'm bringing some Reviver Seeds. You bet I am. I'm bringing, like, five extra ones. And you know what? I may as well bring a Link Box. Yeah, I'll bring a Link Box, because I forgot to do that in Sky Tower, but I was planning on doing that. Let's see if we can listen to Absol and go to Frosty Forest and encounter Articuno. Ooh, Lonely Courage. When a Pokémon has no nearby teammates, it gets very strong. Okay, sounds interesting. I just had a really good idea <laughs> for the boss fights. I'm gonna link- I'm gonna use the link box, and I'm gonna link Reflect and Light Screen. Ooh, now that's a devious combination! I don't have to use- I don't have to waste a turn using both of those moves. I can just use one turn and basically put up a double shield that that halves the damage we take from literally any kind of attack in the whole game in just one turn. That's so good. Why didn't I do that before? I suppose on me, I guess I could also link Nuzzle and Iron Tail since they both hit the opponent in front of you. That'd probably be a good idea, maybe. You know what, all things considered, our main story playthrough for this game was kinda bland. 
in terms of like RNG, we just didn't run into very many random little lucky or unlucky events. We never ran into a monster house, we never ran into an invitation door. <laughs> no, every, every dungeon we went to in the main story just was very straightforward and simple. Alright, that's both of the missions done, but we're gonna keep going to fight our Dakuno. Oh, that was the last floor, okay, here we are. Your arrival in this frozen forest means only one thing. You mean to challenge me. I am Articuno, the warder of ice. Those that enter the forest, I shall destroy with all my might. No matter who it may be. Alright, let's see about that, Articuno. You were a pushover last time, but this is post-game territory. I didn't bring many- I didn't manage to recruit many of the allies, mainly probably because I spammed Discharge a ton. But let's see if- let's see how much harder this is compared to the last time we fought you, Articuno. Actually, before I do anything, uh, Eve, I'm going to, uh, I'm really gonna hope that you- that you actually, you know, do it, but I'm gonna enable to use- I'm gonna enable you to use the Reflect and Light Screen double combo. Please use it. <laughs> Please use it first turn, otherwise it- I- I'm gonna have to take over for you on the next turn and use it myself, <laughs> and leave my character to the AI, but I would, uh, let's, uh, I still don't know what to start with. Do I start with getting close? Do I use a link box first? I don't know. You know what, I think I'm gonna start off by going forwards. Diagonal forwards, so that I'm the one in front. Freeze dry! Ugh, that was a critical hit, huh? That was a critical hit, huh? Okay, I have so many Reviver Seeds, I may as well just let myself get knocked out here. To just to, just to do this one thing that I wanted to do. Yeah, let's let's use the Link Box. This is- this is- this is our first episode made messing around with these linked moves and stuff. Also, I just realized that Eve did not use the linked combo to protect me. You didn't do anything! Why? If you had done that, instead of just stand there with Razor Leaf, sure you did damage to Articuno, but come on, the, the, the shield is more important right now at the start, when we have full HP. Yeah. I'm gonna link these two, so that uh, I nuzzle first to hope for the paralysis, and if it misses, then I'm just gonna hit Iron Tail, because Iron Tail's accuracy is maxed out, so... It's probably gonna- it's probably gonna work if I had to guess, so yeah, there we go. I'm gonna stop there, fur it, I can- I can use an orange berry. You know what? Sure. Why not? Yes! You did the combo! Such a good combo! And it- okay, good, they both stack as well. That's so good! Alright, Articuno, let's see how much damage you do against me now that we got the double shield! And I'm back to full HP. Let's start with the nuzzle combo, let's see if it works. The nuzzle for the paralysis, and the iron tail. Oh man, and I got a double hit. So good. And it wasted with their turn from the paralysis as well. You know what, I see no reason to go for Thunderbolt. Let's just do that again. Yeah! Paralysis lands again because we've maximized... We've been working on nuzzle's accuracy so well. With all the drinks we've collected. Oh man, we're obliterating Articuno. Just like last time. No reviver seeds needed. And you're paralyzed again. Articuno has not had a chance to hit me once the past several turns. This is so amazing. Let's just do it again. You're still paralyzed even. I, I landed a second nuzzle before you even stopped being par paralyzed. Look at how much damage we're doing in a row before I got hit again. Okay, I got frozen. That's the first time we've ever been frozen in this game. The freeze dry has frozen me solid and I can't move. This mouse has been frozen solid into, into, as an ice cube. But look at how much damage freeze dry does. That was almost one hit knocking me out at the start of this. And now... Okay, we're still alive. We're both frozen. And now you're using Reflect. Oh jeez, that turned around really quickly, I'm not gonna lie. Articuno was tired of me uh, bragging about our amazing performance and they came out with a double freeze. Both of our protagonists got frozen solid. We're a Chikorita there, that ha can't be good for them, but... Did you see how... Like, the only reason we're all still okay 
is because of this double shield. To be honest, I don't think there are many strategies I could do. I could go all Protect Orb since we have so many allies, but I think we're fine. I'm fine with using Reviver Seeds if we need to, so let's just keep up the nuzzle and just hope that we just keep on- keep up the pressure. Hopefully, Chikorita gets unfrozen sometime soon, but okay, I think we're probably gonna go down here. Unless... Okay, nope. Let's go for the second nuzzle. Yes! It keeps on landing! Our accuracy luck with Nuzzle is so good now. Alright, hope that- Okay, Eve is back in the fight! Let's go! Another Nuzzle is still paralyzed! That probably would have been a good opportunity for Thunderbolt now that I think about it, to be honest. I don't know if Thunderbolt's gonna do more damage than the other stuff. Oh, dang it! <laughs> Nose Pass fell asleep! You know what? Let's see how much Thunderbolt does. Ugh! 110! Big damage! I don't know if the double... Mm, I don't know if Nuzzle and Iron Tail is better. I feel like I'm still... I feel like Thunderbolt did do more damage than Nuzzle and Iron Tail. Do I use a Chester Berry on Nose Pass? I don't think there's much of a reason to. Okay, quick attack. I thought for a second that Furhead got the final hit in. That would have been hilarious. Let's go for the Paralyze! Again! You're still getting paralyzed, Odakuno. This is just like last time we fought you. My goodness, go for the consistent... Of course Thunderbolt misses, but I got the double hit. If we can get a double Thunderbolt, that would be so much damage. We still haven't used any items. And there we go, we're done! That was so good! Should I have used the Inviting Orb, actually? Odakuno, are you gonna join us? Guaranteed, or was it a random chance? Team Leafspark's courage in the fierce battle left an impression on Articuno. You can now access the legendary island camp, and... Articuno joined your team! No fa- n no cutscene or anything, really? Okay, I'm just, we just beat up Articuno and they're like, <laughs> without words, they're just like, dot dot dot. Joins team, okay. I wasn't expecting Articuno to just silently be like, Okay, you obliterated me. That's fine. I'm okay. I'm okay with joining your overpowered team. Oh, you have Squeeze Out. Meh. You have the same mo you have the same rare quality that Absol did when we first recruited him. That's kind of funny. Because they, kn they knew each other. Do we give Articuno a nickname? Not right now. I don't know if I will, but hey, I'll take it. We got Articuno on the team. Recruited, nice. I don't- I wonder if that means that all of the legendaries are just guaranteed they- they will join your party if you beat them in this game. If that's the case, then that's a pleasant change in my book. Okay, and here's our rescue points. Two Carbos, and we're still getting- we're gonna be getting much better points now. From the mission- from the missions we get in the, you know, newer dungeons. It's gonna be so much higher ranked missions. Not that one, though. That one was... Back to the days of silver rank. Check the mail. Here we go. Recent natural disasters. Investigations underway into recent rash of natural disasters. Pokemon in, effe in affected areas attack any outsider without hesitation. Some believe a mysterious force is behind their behavior. One source blamed Diglett for tri triggering earthquakes, but the investigative team is skeptical. Uh, not only with Articuno, but also- oh. Articu- <laughs> Absol, did you not see us set out and just literally recruit Articuno to our party? <laughs> you weren't paying attention, buddy. Wait a minute, was that Metacham? Hang on. Your team meanies, right? I think this is gonna do, like, proper post-game story stuff, I think, if I talk to Metacham, so I'm not gonna do that yet. Ooh, one hero. What are you talking about, Alakazam? It's Lucario! Okay. Whose exploits as a rescue leader are the stuff of legend. I aspire to become like them, to become even closer to Lucario's greatness. That is my goal and my dream. So Alakazam wants to join Smash, huh? Just like Lucario? Something nice. Have I ever seen a mission say the reward is something nice? Wait a minute, this mission is at... Dark Knight Relic, but 
It's only it's only the third floor. Th this mission's probably gonna give us so many points. It's only two little ticks on that uh, difficulty gauge wheel that's around the icon. It's only two ticks away from the top difficulty mission in the entire game. But all it is is a little escort mission three floors into a dungeon. Sure, the dungeon might be super difficult, but I think we have enough reviver seeds to at least lug ourselves through three floors of one dungeon. Actually, no, wait, we have seen that before, with Why Not. Hang on, is this gonna activate a little dialogue? It is, okay. Smeargle's Desperate Plea, huh? That's quite the title. What does it say? Can you read it? Yeah, okay. So this is kind of similar to the, uh, the, the Mankey Gang missions. For why not? Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Smeargle. I once had aspirations of becoming an artist. Then one day there was an incident of an unforgivable nature. I fled because I didn't want to get all sticky, but then I lost my way. N I now find myself in this forest, unable to ex extricate myself. I am lost in the howling forest. I'm lost! Somebody, please save me. Didn't want to get all sticky. What's that mean? Uh, Eve. I don't know if you- I, I don't really get this. I don't know if you want to. But let's go rescue this Smeargle anyway. It's just paint. <laughs> the forest in which Smeargle is thought to have gone missing is the Howling Forest. Now open for exploration. Okay. I've already been recording for 55 minutes, I know, but... I feel like I'm gonna cut out most of the dungeon exploring stuff. And we're basically, we're basically just gonna skip to the when I fight Articuno, so it won't end up being too much in this episode. So I'll continue for at least one little more whatever we do, but I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> that lombre, he amuses me so. <laughs> oh, long time no see. You are well? You see, I have heard about Lombre's tale. It is too funny. I've heard that Lombre almost drowned at sea. But that Lombre, he lives in water. How very pathetic. <laughs> oh. So if I talk to Lombre, is this leading up to like Kyogre Dungeon? Like a water level, maybe? I feel like it. I feel like it is. Huh? What's that? Oh, you mean what happened at sea? I wasn't drowning! Sheesh, they're making up stories about me! Wanna know what really happened? Sure, Lombre. See, a while back, I went out to the sea to frolic. You know, I was trying that dive thing. So I was having fun going underwater, and I got washed out to sea a bit. All of a sudden, these wicked clouds rolled in. And before I knew it, there was a full-blown storm raging. There's more. A dungeon appeared in the sea. I was shocked witless. I got out of there fast. But who'd have guessed it? A dungeon in a stormy sea. Huh? You wanna go you wanna know more about that dungeon in the sea? I vamoosed it out of there, so I can't tell you much. I know. Maybe Whiskash would know something. I've right, talked to Whiskash. Okay, okay. This I know this is probably leading up to like a level literally called Stormy Sea, and it's gonna have Kyogre f f fight in it, which might be difficult. But, you know. Ah, so you wish to know about the dungeon in the sea? I too have heard of it. I have heard of a place that is far off our coast. It's a sea churned by torrential storms and violent waves. It is a place appropriately named the Stormy Sea. Okay. There, one will find a dungeon that leads to the bottom of the sea. The sea is infinitely dark, and its depth unimaginable. That is what I have heard. Ho ho ho! Merry... Halloween! <laughs> you look eager to go. Nobody can stop your adventurous spirit. <laughs> Makes sense. You be careful now. Gained access to the stormy sea. We are not gonna do that today. We could go to Howling Forest, we could go to Stormy Sea, which we're not going to. Oh, we also have Solar Cave. 
we could go to the Stormy Sea, which is 40 floors. Oh man, that's the longest dungeon we've done in this game so far. Okay, Dark Knight Relic is 15 floors long. It doesn't have a legendary in it, seemingly, so this is just a simple, normal little post-game available dungeon with probably some unique Pokémon appearing in it. But the mission for it only requires the third floor. I think we can do this. So we're gonna go. Let's give it a go. Let's let's let this be the let's let this be our final task for this video. Dark Knight Relic. Oh, it, it reuses the music from what was it called? Sinister Woods. The client Elikid is with you. Why are we literally standing in a poison swamp? We're standing in po in like Super Mario Odyssey poison. If I was Mario right now, I would be losing a life. Oh wait, Pounce Wands? I didn't know those were in this game! And we got seven of them! Waving it at a Pokémon or a wall makes you jump at it. It also draws your teammates to you. It's, effect it's especially effective in boss battles. I was- Did I not bring this up when we were fighting, uh, Rayquaza? If we bring some of these to the Rayquaza fights, we're gonna have a much easier time. Cause we could just wave this wand and- uh, should I test it here? I don't know if we will. You basically know what it means from the description, I bet. But yeah, basically, if you wave it at you wave it at an enemy or wall. Uh an enemy Pokemon has become awakened. That's literally the first enemy of this entire dungeon we've seen so far, and it's awakened. What? <laughs> Awakened enemies are stronger. Be careful around them. They can enemy normal enemies can also become awakened when they defeat other enemies. Oh wait, I remember this actually. I remember that used to be a thing in Gates to Infinity, but using you know something different that was in that game. But oh, okay. So that Shuppet right here. Oh, you you're awakened. Are you immune to status conditions? I'm gonna hope not. Okay, no, I can still paralyze. Uh, cheat on you. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolts. Okay, that knocks it out. How much experience did I get for that? I, I didn't get to see properly. But, uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, you do a lot of damage. Please land the nuzzle. Okay, I see the difficulty here now. I don't th and it's also lagging a bit, surprisingly, too. Is it all the grass alongside this poison watery effect on the floor? Like, this dungeon is lagging a bit as well. We we're clearly not meant to be here. Very we're very clearly not meant to be here. And I'm also realizing now that, yeah, it's uh, not showing us things like items and enemies on the map like it used to. So, it makes it a little more like the old Mystery Dungeon game experience, where you, of course, weren't able to just see everything everywhere at any moment. But yeah, this, uh, this, could, yeah, this could still be very difficult for us. This is cool. What was I talking about before we got interrupted by an awakened status Shuppet <laughs> as the first enemy? I have no idea what I was even talking about before. Oh, speaking of awakened... Whatever I was talking about before, I'm getting interrupted trying to think about what I was talking about when I got interrupted before. <laughs> oh, you're a Shedinja. Oh. You have Wonder Guard. Neither of us can deal with- actually, Eve can deal with you, right? You can use Ancient Power. Okay, Double Shield is also a smart idea, but... Is that Shedinja even attacking? It seems to not really be doing much. Can you use, uh... Hey, Eve, can you use Ancient Power? Yeah, there we go. Oh, it, sh it survived? Since when does Shedinja have more than... No! No, 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 no. <laughs> Elegant. You should not be back. Okay, well, we have plenty of Reviver Seeds, but... Yeah, this is what I mean. By that we were not meant to come here. A grudge trap? Oh no! All these enemies spawned? Oh, this is terrible. Actually, wait, this might not be too bad. This might not be so bad. If I use Thunderbolt, we're gonna... Hopefully Oko them with Brawl. Yeah! 
That worked out pretty well. Oh, we just recruited a ghastly. From this place, we can get our own Gengar. <laughs> That's crazy. Wait, did, did you have squad up? Hang on. To be honest, it's kind of annoying having these enemies just randomly start a five second cutscene every few seconds. It's sort of getting annoying. Let's see how many points we get for this mission. There ain't no way I'm going to the end of this place. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, I probably would be able to make it to the end if we went all the way. But we're only on the third floor. There may still be something ahead though. Ugh, it's so tempting. Actually, no. I'm not gonna escape. The leaf spark don't escape. We explore. If I use Nuzzle, and it lands because its accuracy is so good now. And look, awakening status just goes away. Might because we killed it, but it just goes away. It doesn't even matter. It just means we have to face one less enemy because that one enemy decided to kill its friend. So we never so we never end up having to fight two at once. That's actually really helpful. Miss Maggie has recovered from fainting. And we can keep you. You're level 50. You're so strong. Yes, we'll take you as an ally. And you have riled up. Okay, that's not the best ability, but Oh man. Oh. Dark, Dark Knight Relic just changed completely. It looks like an actual dungeon we're in right now. What is this, Zelda? Oh, that's our first Mega Evolution enemy. Sableye just Mega Evo- <laughs> Brawl is actually kind of helping whenever we run into a grudge trap. Look at Phantom Force. Look at all the ghost-type allies. This is so awesome. Oh, there's a Bayonet as well. Ugh, bay can't Bayonet also Mega Evolve? Oh, there's a Strong Foe. Is that a Wub effect? It is. It's not a Shiny. So I'm not gonna use our, like, Inviting Orb on it. But I'm down to try to defeat a Strong Foe Wub effect. Although I think this enemy is mainly gonna use, like, counter moves and stuff, right? So what if I just attack it from a distance like this with items? Yeah, it is. It's trying to counter physical moves. Does that include pebbles? Are you gonna counter me? You aren't. Okay. So items seem like a good idea here. But what if I'm close to you? Are you gonna counter an up-close pebble? You aren't. You guys are smart using... Okay, you're not smart. <laughs> this is... The Miss Magius was definitely not smart. Why'd you do that? You gotta use special moves when it sets up a counter. But anyway, we leveled up. Awesome. Bro, that's that Mega Sableye just killed another enemy when it already was awakened and Mega Evolved. So it killed its friend for no reason, other than just to kill another enemy. That's so funny. You were already Mega Evolved because we haven't run into you yet. Oh wait, what are you doing, Miss Magius? This Miss Magius is actually super dumb. What are you fighting? That better not be the... That's the Mega Sableye. What are you doing? <laughs> Miss Magius, you're single-handedly wasting all of my items. Why are you fighting this Mega Evolve Pokemon on your own? Don't do that. Okay, well you won, but you used an item for that. All you had was a Chesto Berry? I wish I could have been the one to get that KO. No, don't you Shadow Sneak! Why are these enemies so good at using terrible options for moves? You gotta use special attacks. Look, Eve gets it. Surround ones? Ooh, fun. Yo, a Gliscor? That's awesome! I've always wanted to shiny hunt a Gliscor. Are they in the... Are they in the... Uh... Pokemon Sword and Shield, uh, Crown Tundra DLC. I don't have the expansion pass yet, still. When I eventually get it, I'm gonna make videos for it, of course, but... Like... Is Gliscor part of that? If so, then awesome, I want a shiny hunt one. And now for the Nuzzle combo. Oh, Nuzzle missed. Oh, never mind, we still paralyzed you. Awesome, you're good. You're, you're just... okay. Oh, we're recruiting the Mega Bayonets. Sure, why not? Alright. The environment's changed again. This is definitely- Okay, this is a new song. We've never heard this music before. K 
Okay, seems like we've entered the real part of this dungeon. Ugh, these cutscenes are getting on my nerves. Oogies! You guys came out of nowhere, didn't ya? Uh -huh. This seems like a good idea to use a surround wand. Guys, come over here! <laughs> this situation got just got way more chaotic. Hopefully the, the mischievous is, is dumb enough to target one of these random other allies. Or, better yet, we could just defeat it. There we go. Attack my minions. My army of ghost Pokémon. That was so perfect. Oh, a sticky trap. No, the mobile orb! Does that stay after a dungeon? That's so unfortunate. <laughs> oh, dang it, I'm dead. <laughs> I, I need to... In these post-game dungeons, I need to get into the habit of ru of moving around very carefully and slowly most of the time. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get jump-scared by a random enemy that comes instantly from nowhere in a dark corridor and then just oko me. I just realized doing a... Uh... Oh, dang it. Did a teammate die again? Miss Magius, what the heck? I don't even know if I want this Miss Magius. They're so dumb. Miss Magius is dead again. You know what? Forget you. Forget you. And now that Gengar is Mega Evolve, I just realized. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But, okay, you know what? If the Pounce Wand is gonna get our allies to follow us with the warp, can we just uh, get away from this Gengar? Let's test out the Pounce Wand. Make a quick getaway. That worked! Oh my goodness, that worked! The perfect getaway. Now we just gotta hope Gengar doesn't happen to follow us here. Oh, a Wubbuffet? A strong foe Wubbuffet? I'm just gonna use a surround wand on this Wubbuffet. Actually, maybe that was a bad idea. These allies are dumb. They're just gonna get countered by this Wubbuffet. Especially because they keep missing. Isn't it ironic how Miss Magia seemed like such a rare Pokemon to recruit, but then they ended up being like the dumbest ally by far? Hang on, this Mistrevis has Steamroll! That's the ability we needed! That's the ability that I want on Eve! I'll take you! Hopefully you're smarter than the Miss Magius. Oh thank goodness the stairs, get me out of this place! Only a couple more floors to go, I think. Okay, the stairs, we got lucky that time. Okay, let's go, 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 go. Yes! Look at all this stuff! We made it to the end of this place! Dark Knight Relic! Man, we used up so much of our stuff, but we got to the end of this proper, like, Zelda dungeon gauntlet, and look at this stuff! What are these TMs? We got Dark Pulse? Okay, that's meh. Okay, so we got Sludge Bomb. Eh, also, okay, we already have one, I think. Snarl, also very bleh. It's just a bunch of Dark-type moves, I guess. Brutal Swing, and the last one is Shadow Ball. Okay, Shadow Ball is awesome. That is an amazing move. Last thing we gotta pick up from here is the Deluxe Box as a little bonus reward. Let's get out of here. Phew. CJ successfully completed the job at Dark Knight Relic. Awesome. Bronze Dojo Ticket. Dojo Ticket. Silver Ticket. Calm Mind. Okay. DX Gummy. Yes! This is, these are what I need. We gotta get more of these. We gotta try to get Steamroll on Eve. Bro has been pretty good for us, though, dealing with the Grudge Traps, but still think Steamroll is gonna help us much more. And, you, and this Ghastly has squad up. You know what? Let's just get every single Pokemon we recruited here. We're gonna keep Gliscor. We're gonna keep Bayonet. We're gonna keep Misdreavus. This is your reward. Max Elixir, 200 points! Awesome! I was expecting a more- I was expecting more to be honest, but okay. We get Elekid. That's nice, I guess, but you're super weak. Maybe that's not as exciting as I thought it would be. <laughs> of a reward, okay. Well, the mission was underwhelming, and the, I, the TMs that we got at the end, except for Shadow Ball, were underwhelming. But we got some pretty cool Pokémon as allies, and we made it through a difficult post-game dungeon. Which is pretty awesome. 
A special gift from the organization. Okay, okay, I'll check this and then we'll end the episode. I realize this is going to be difficult to manage. <laughs> I've, I've recorded a bit overboard on this one. An hour and 40 minutes. But you know what? I, a lot of the post-game episodes in Mystery Dungeon are going to end up being this long anyways, so I'm not too surprised by this. <laughs> A special gift from the rescue organization to a hard worker like you. Try to significantly power up by using the enclosed silver dojo ticket. Yay. We gotta see if we at least get something hype out of this. Out of that extremely reviver seed wasting mission that we took. DX Gummy on Eve. What are you gonna get as your rare quality chance? Please, steamroll. Steamroll. Wary walk. When a Pokemon steps on a trap, the trap can be broken and disabled. Does that always break the traps? If this guaranteed always destroys traps, this might be better than Brawl. It's not Steamroll. I really still need to find Steamroll, but hey, at least we got something neat out of this. Man, Solar Beam is here. I'm gonna check its stats quickly. What is Razor Leaf looking like right now? How strong is it? Oh, ew. <laughs> Razor Leaf is super weak. We could definitely use an upgrade on this. Your high critical hit ratio is still awesome though, but it is much better to have like an attack that you can use super fast. This might be a mistake, but we're gonna give Eve Solar Beam. Razor Leaf is probably like, Energy Ball is probably gonna end up being better, and we're gonna switch to that at some point, but... I just wanna see how good Solar Beam does for us in these post-game dungeons, in the next episodes and stuff. So, at long last, we're gonna forget your signature move, Goodbye Razor Leaf. And you're gonna learn Solar Beam. And that'll be about it for this video. Please like the video if you like the video, of course, and subscribe maybe if you want to see more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Hopefully I don't go overboard with the dungeons in the next one. Adventure on!